my mother said life is like a book and every year is the beginning of a new chapter and journey but this year had been the reflection of the most sorrowful and horrible moments in the smiling coast she has been restless for allah is my witness my heart is tearing my body is shivering and my mind is in that rest i am in a dilemma because i can no more comprehend more the gambia she was known for her peace smiling face and open arms which welcomes every living being that has ever been but tribalism tribalism has consumed her children's mind and soul then politics rapes corruption became a friend Alan has been trying 30 years, 22 years, 4 years to be developed, but corruption, corruption is still destroying everything. As the children of the Gambia, the country we want to see in 2045 is let there be no room for corruption, let there be no room for violation, let our leaders feel this is the government of the people, by the people and for the people. This, this is the country we want to see in 2045. Our leaders should steal and heal. Corrupt people should be killed. Our nation will not be ill. But leaders are using our taxes to chill, while we the citizens are still on our knees. A dictator is out. Junglers are out. Judges comes out to find out the things that are left out, yet victims out there are still yearning waiting for justice to come out. Justice should be out for every citizen because we didn't vote for injustice. Developing the Gambia within few years is the best slogan for every figurehead. But the moment they become the heads, everything evaporates from their heads. The country we want to see in 2045. For us to be like Dubai is possible, but in a politician only sit as he ran a because corruption guarantees the constitution.